హలో హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు వేద్య యాక్టర్ ఛానల్ సో టుడే వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ప్రిపేర్ అ వెరీ కామన్ డిష్ బట్ ఇన్ అ వెరీ యూనిక్ వే విచ్ ఇస్ లేడీస్ ఫింగర్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద పీపుల్ లవ్ టు ఈట్ లేడీస్ ఫింగర్ ఎస్పెషలీ చిల్డ్రన్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ దే డూ ఈట్ ఇట్ అ రా రైట్ ఈవెన్ బిఫోర్ యూ ప్రిపేర్ ఇట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో వెరీ గుడ్ but if you have to prepare and eat it uh, the usual methods are a little monotonous so you may have to try it something very different uh, in order to feed your senses so here today i am going to prepare this lady's finger um, in a quite authentic pattern uh, which is a south indian style of making it but very unique come friends let's give a try of the same but before that i would love all of you people to please go ahead and subscribe my channel by keeping the bell button on and if you are a new visitor or a new uh, watching uh, this particular video i request all of you to keep it subscribed and stay connected with me come friends let's start so uh, today we'll prepare this um, lady's finger which is everybody's favorite vegetable right it's very good and most of our uh, parents they used to insist us when we were children uh, to have this more because uh, we they say that we become a mathematician a good logical mindedness and math would be you know we will be good at math that's what they used to say uh, so i'm going to let you know a very unique variety of doing this usually people don't do like this Uh, so what are the ingredients required is very simple you just required one uh, medium sized a big onion Mini- medium sized but a slightly bigger one okay uh, because i have nearly half a kilogram of uh, lady's finger here so we need uh, more onions okay and then uh, one slit in you know, a green chili here and then some curry leaves and we would also require some pepper powder okay during the time of uh, preparation and we also require uh, some uh, turmeric powder and this is something very important sambar powder this is very very important guys without this you can't do this variety of uh, you know preparation all right and for seasoning you definitely require some mustard seeds some jeera and uh, this uh, peeled black gram urad dal okay so this is these are the things which we require now these are the things which we require now so here is a pepper powder so it's very easy to prepare so come guys we'll start the preparation but before that we will chop the onion we will chop them very finely okay finely chopped onions so i've chopped the onions it has to be so much uh now we'll start the preparing all right so now let's start the preparation uh go for a wide mouth kadai like this so put it on and the pan is already dry so i'm going to add the oil now approximately you can add 3 to 4 uh, tablespoons of oil because we have nearly half a kilogram of uh, you know lady's finger and uh, lady's finger you are aware that it has a tackiness right uh, kindly ignore the sound be- beside because i am preparing uh, rice rice is getting pressure cooker there just so just kindly ignore the noise <clears throat> how are you coming back to the point uh, we need uh, definitely minimum 4 tablespoons of oil because uh, this has uh, a tackiness to it right so in order not to stick in the pan we definitely require a decent amount of oil and uh, very importantly i think i have already shown you all the ingredients so we'll keep it ready so once the oil is hot it's getting hot now i am going to add mustard seeds it's actually plain mustard seeds but here they said it mixed with this uh, urad dal i mean the pe- peeled uh, black gram anyhow uh, we are going to however add black gram as well so you can add a little more if we have i have already told you in several other videos if you have uh, uh, people at home who are elderly people or old people who don't have tooth or they have tooth related issue you can decrease these kind of you know uh, uh, you know the 
chana dal or the black gram you can decrease it or you don't add it at all okay okay now it's uh, keep it in low flame and cook i mean and season it once that goes reddish brown you can add some jeera to it cumin seeds okay so this will move yes so stir it please go for a wide tooth spoon like this or a spatula kind of uh, Now in goes all the curry leaves and we will add all the chopped onions finely chopped onions we'll drop them in okay single handed vidya Extremely sorry, guys. I forgot to cook the rice today, so you have to bear with me. I'm I'm like that at times. I don't plan, but I still do it well. Okay, so now it's time to add the split green chilies. Just one will do, because we are preparing the dish. with sambar powder and pepper powder hope you remember so let the green chilies get fried well there is other one here it is so let it be in the middle so that let it cook well and onions are almost getting transparent so once the green chili is fried well then we'll add the masalas i mean the turmeric powder and we want sambar powder and we'll keep the pepper powder ready to add in the last you can slightly increase the flame if you want i wanted it so i increased it okay in goes now 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder teaspoon not tablespoon all right and then in goes the reason why we add all this now is because that raw taste of all this powders shouldn't be highlighted much after cooked so that is the reason samba powder okay i have added approximately 1 tablespoon okay fine this will be or 3/4 tablespoon anywhere from 3/4 to 1 tablespoon will do so look i could uh, find the flavor coming out and it's frying well so this is the stage we will add mm the highlight is the samba powder here we can add all the chopped lady's finger lady's finger is my favorite i love it but i don't prepare it fried and all there are many varieties you can do it like potatoes you can also do it in various methods but this is one healthy way of doing it and get tasty in the dish important guys we will not add water at all there are many people i have seen while preparing uh, lady finger they do add lot of water that is one stupid way i'm very sorry to say that or uh, that is an insane way of uh, it's an insane way of cooking i think uh, they are in the uh, cooking expert or uh, they are in the uh, uh, someone who maybe they are very naive to you know cook so they are not professionally uh, you know 
they are not ones who have uh, been cooking for quite a long time. They maybe they are very naive because it already has a stickiness to it, and that stickiness will become too much. And in order to drain that water, you may have to boil it or cook it for a very long time. So this will be like a fry. So we don't require water at all. So keep stirring it. Okay, it's done, guys. The rice cooker. I'm very sorry. <laughs> you will never hear that noise and so. Okay, yeah. Keep stirring it. Very important. See to that that your kadai doesn't stick to the ingredients, so that you go for a, a nice uh, thick kadai. Uh, I this kadai is uh, the Indian stuff that is an uh, expert one. It has been used. For a very long time. Now, this is the right stage. We'll add salt. As you all know, I'm very used in adding it like this. But you be careful. If you are not used in adding it by hand, you can add it according to the taste in the spoon. Be patient to stir it. Also, did prepare today uh, the another dish, which is the moong dal sambar. Look at here; it's ready. <laughs> so, in order to know the preparation methodology of this, I'm just keeping the link above. Please go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, this uh, ready finger will be a wonderful combination for the food. In order not to pour further oil, at the same time to make the ladies finger cook much better, we will splash a very little water. Look here, very little water. We have to actually splash it. This will do. Okay, not more than a quarter tumbler. In fact, I would say this is more than enough. Okay. So now what we'll do is we will keep it closed and then we'll cook for approximately till this water gets drained. Maybe I would say five to six minutes will do. So I'm closing it with the lid. We'll wait for approximately five to six minutes and then we'll open it and then we'll add the pepper. In approximately two three minutes, so I'm just opening it in between. It isn't yet five minutes. I just opened it to show you whether uh, to identify how whether it is cooked or not. Uh, see, uh, you could see the seeds of uh, this lady's finger, right? It's still white in color, so that has to you know shrunk and uh, it has to become pale um, and it has to you know uh, really shrunk well. So that shows that it is cooked well. Okay, so we we'll wait for some more time. <coughs> so it should become like this. We will wait for some more time, maybe 4-5 minutes, see don't let it cook too much because this green shade, I always recommend in all my videos and all my cooking that this green shade, this chlorophyll has to get retained in the vegetable. So that is why we shouldn't pour too much of water or we should overcook it, okay. But another few minutes will be there. Taste is also important, right. <laughs> we at the end of the day we are feeding for our senses, it's actually bad, but what to do, we are all human beings. So it's been another two three minutes more. Look at here, it's really shrunk well and the oil is coming out. It's separating out from the uh, actual ingredients. So I think you all know that's how I used to you know tell you guys. Uh, so this is the right stage. We will stir a bit. Look, the oil. There's no water at all. So it's perfectly cooked and uh, the lady finger also looks soft. So this is the right stage. We'll add this pepper powder approximately not more than two two to two and a half spoons okay depending upon the quantity and the spice you like 
yeah two spoons will do for me because we already added enough uh, you know sambar powder uh, sambar powder also will have uh, some some heat to it so let it not become too spicy because children will have to eat and uh, we just stir it for approximately a minute or so and then we can put it off after adding pepper we should never cook overcook any dish because pepper will lose all its uh, nutrition in it. okay look at this now still the green shade also is being retained at the same time it looks uh, delicious right so that is always one thing which i keep it in my mind in uh, my cooking so vedya style of cooking is not yet delicious but at the same time i see to that that it is very healthy chlorophyll always retained so i think it's done now just slightly increase the flame cook for a minute don't close it and cook and then we can yes put it off so the yummy yummy lady finger curry or you can call it as a lady finger fry is ready to be served i'll show you in the display guys this goes really well with the rasam samba so friends i'm sure all would have enjoyed you know watching making this lady's finger along with me it was very easy and yet i'm sure it is going to be very tasty when you prepare it i'm sure you will come to know about it so uh, go ahead and try it friends and don't forget to keep subscribe this channel and stay connected with me please leave all your comments your doubts and whatever queries you would like to ask or whatever new dish you would like me to prepare kindly leave in the in the comment section so thank you very much for having uh, watched my video love you all take care and bye bye mm -hmm.